There's a large chance I'm just a floating head right now. I'm sporting some cream on white. Today, I'm gonna talk about scheduled transactions. Now, you may already be using these handy dandy extra special super duper transactions, but if you're not, prepare to be delighted. A scheduled transaction is just a transaction that hasn't happened yet that repeats on a schedule. They won't affect the budget at all until their future date arrives. Think of them as a window into the future. When the date arrives, they're entered into the account register and then, and only then, they impact the budget. Before that, just nothing. Nada. They're just sitting, waiting for the day they finally get to shine. They're totally perfect for things like that phone bill you have that's $65.42 every single month due right on the 15th. Set it up once and you are done. Forever until you change your phone plan or go rogue. Now, I know what you're thinking, but hey, wait, Hannah, if I use direct import, won't that duplicate the transaction once the phone bill is imported? Hmm. Not to worry, friends, YNAB is smart and will match those transactions right up. No duplicates in this budget. So there are three big reasons why you might wanna consider utilizing scheduled transactions. First, organization. Get all your bills scheduled and everything will be in one place. You will never need to enter it again. And fun fact, if you have scheduled transactions in a few different accounts, you can see them all at once in the all accounts view, right here. See this little guy. Secondly, sorting for the win. Sort by due date and you'll know exactly what bill is coming up next. Brilliant. And thirdly, thirdly? Lastly, thirdly, on the budget, you'll get a friendly yellow reminder so you don't forget to budget for the expense. Once you put aside all the money you need for that transaction, the category will turn green and happily wait until its big day arrives. Also, don't miss out on the fact that you can select how frequently this scheduled transaction occurs. Set your transaction to repeat based on whatever pace you need them to. Every two weeks or just twice a month? because those aren't the same thing. <laughs> I know, I know that now. You can set it to be as frequent as every day or as infrequent as every two years. So think about those annual subscriptions that you're not sure if you wanna stick with them or not, or you just always forget about them. Enter them now as a scheduled transaction so that they don't sneak up on you later. If a year passes and you decide you wanna cancel that subscription, you'll see that transaction in your long list of scheduled transactions before it comes due, so you can cancel that subscription before they actually charge you again. And while we're on the topic of the future, if you don't like all these pesky grayed out scheduled transactions sitting at the top of your budget waiting for their time to shine, you can always filter them out of your account view with a few simple clicks. Now, if you want to level up your scheduled transactions game, and honestly, who wouldn't, here are a few pro tips. If you have a bill like the electric bill that fluctuates from month to month or season to season, just set aside the amount on the higher side. And once that transaction is entered, you can totally adjust the outflow amount whenever, no biggie. And if it's lower than you budgeted for, well, Whenever my electricity bill comes in lower than I budgeted for, not to be dramatic, but it feels like I just won a little tiny lottery. Only I don't immediately squander those dollars. Go ahead and give them a different job to do or get a head start on next month's bill. If you need to mail a check, yes, paper checks still exist, can you believe it? Set the date a week earlier than needed in your budget so you have time to mail the check. That little yellow reminder pops up and you consequently think to yourself, it's time for me to write that check. So you write it, you send it, score. You can always write the real date in the memo field for reference. I'm a genius, no? If the scheduled transaction is for a non-monthly bill, like your HOA fees that are due every six months, set a goal for it too. The goal will help you break it down into monthly amounts to budget so the money is there when the bill arrives. If your paychecks are regular, you can schedule those too, so you'll see when they'll arrive in relation to your bills. This is super helpful if you're still getting started and things are still a little tight, but you still can't budget that money until it actually arrives, okay? 
sorry, but rules are rules. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I've never been a scheduled transactions kind of girl myself, but after this video, you can bet your bottom dollar, I'm gonna be scheduling my rent, my phone bill, my monthly doggy daycare payments. Hot dang, this budget's about to be organized. As always, if you have any more tips or insight to offer on how you use scheduled transactions, always, always, always feel free to share your ideas in the comments below. I myself have honestly learned a multitude of things from the comments you guys share on how you use flags or goals or how you categorize. And if I'm still learning new things all the time from y'all, just think of all the other YNABbers out there, both new and old, that you could help too. We're just your average budgeting family. You gotta help a budget brother out. But hey friends, as always, thanks so much for joining and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Loosen up, you are an adult, okay. Wait, Diana. Mm. If I duplicate, uh, okay. Oh wait, that was a s tiny dab. Tiny dab. Give me that tiny dab. Save big money up and on.